Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Biola playing cards. Uh, these are put out from CPC, which is Collectible Playing Cards, and you got um, Mike Geisteles down there uh, heading that up. Uh, this, the Viola deck, this was a Kickstarter project. It was actually a twice unsuccessful Kickstarter, but I believe the people down at USPCC and uh, Mike and some of his backers really believed in this and they made it happen anyway, and that's good news for the rest of us. All right, so the inspiration for the Viola deck uh, it displays all kinds of waves and curves that are very similar to the ones that are famous in the Viola Flower. Uh, the playing cards are coated in very beautiful shades of purple. Uh, the tuck case right here, you can see it says bicycle across the front. You have this uh, kind of postmodern uh, picture of a Viola Flower, and it says Viola down there at the bottom. The side says the United States Playing Card Company and Eric Christian Finish, and the other side says Viola. The bottom has some ad copy about CPC, and the top has a banner and a very original looking tuck seal. The back design of the tuck case is of course the back design of the cards and that is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed from the United States Playing Card Company and they do come on their retail stock. Now a stack of 10 of the Viola cards measures in on the caliper at 2.90. Now a standard deck of bikes comes in at about 2.82, 2.83. So the extra thickness on these cards could come from ink impact uh, from heavy inks. It could also come just from the compression process that's done at USPCC and uh, they didn't get as thin as a standard deck. Of course, these cards do come with air cushion finish and a modern cut. And if you'd like to learn more about stock cut or finish, you can click the link below in the description. Again, the back design, all done in uh, shades of purple and gold. You can see those curves and that flower imagery that I was talking about earlier. And of course, you can see that it has a nice uh, average sized border. The two extra cards you get with the Viola deck are a double backer, which is great for magic tricks, and you get a ad card for CPC. With this deck, you also get two custom jokers. Uh, they're both the same, but just colored a little bit differently. One has uh, heavier purple accents and one has heavier gold accents. The Ace of Spades is really your only original significant looking ace. Uh, and as you can see, it's still pretty simple. Uh, there's no words on the ace. It's that nice, beautiful pip there in the center. And again, carrying that flower motif that is indicative to the rest of this deck. Pips and indice cards are all elongated uh, and they have over accentuated curved features. As with everything in this deck, the courts are also custom designed. Uh, each one of them has been uniquely drawn and uh, uniquely colored, but still left with a lot of their familiar clothing and weaponry. All that is it for this review of the Viola playing cards brought to you by Collectible Playing Cards. This deck was generously provided to us by the great people down at Murphy's Magic Supplies. If you'd like to learn more, you can find them at your favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. Thanks, bye.